what it's all about. All right, you got this one. Nice one. We gotta be real quiet. Gotta be quieter than that. Let's do this. You got it. You got it. Bring them in. Go for that Tom in the middle. <laughs> this is serious business out here. You gotta stay sharp. <laughs> Think that might be overkill? Got a nice buck about a hundred yards out. All right. Doesn't get any better than this. On target! On target! Awesome. That's the only word to describe whitetail hunting in Kansas. And I'd say we're starting off small, but there's just no such thing when it comes to the record racks you're going to be going after on these upcoming hunts. Also, keep an eye out for ringneck pheasants, eastern turkey, rabbits, mallards. Why, I've even got some great bass fishing lined up for you. I've got all the tags ready, but first things first. Pheasant usually nest in brush like this. You should equip your shotgun, and I'll try flushing some up for you to shoot. Remember, only shotguns are legal for shooting birds. When they flush up, get ready to take a shot. Hey, I think you hit it. Let me teach you a bit more about shooting down a pheasant. First, I noticed that you may not have been leading your shot. You need to get the jump on these birds because they'll get out of range quickly. Get your gun's sights pointed slightly in front of the bird's flight path and then take your shot. Get them before they fly off. I'll bet that this clearing we're in is filled with roosting spots full of pheasant. I've got some pheasant tags. Have some fun flushing them up and shooting them down. I'll wait for you on the far end of the clearing. Move through, flushing birds up as you go. Come over when you've shot your quota. That was some wing shooting. Right over here! Come meet me over here.
Come meet me over here. It looks like some whitetail have passed through the small ravine in front of us. I think it might have been a buck that passed through. Let's take a look at the marks it left behind. It was a buck. Keep your eyes peeled. Let's sneak quietly through this ravine. I have a feeling a buck might be nearby. First, you need to crouch. Crouching and walking lets you move quietly. Follow me. six-pointer and the other is a ten-pointer at least. You can estimate the score of a deer by using your rangefinder. Equip your rangefinder and aim over the bigger ten-point buck. When you get your reticle over it, you'll be able to field judge its rack and get a better look at its score. Good work. That's a really nice buck. Let's get after him. Do you see the big rock on top of the hill? Stay low and sneak up there. I'll drive the bucks towards you after you move up there into position. I'll move up the side of the valley and get ready to drive the deer. You head up to that large rock on top of the hill. Start driving the white tails towards you. You'll need to learn how to target an animal's vitals. Its vitals are the spots you need to hit to bring most animals down with one shot. Once you're in range of the animal, move your rifle sights over the animal. You'll see the animal's vitals appear. When they're glowing, you can use breath to control your breathing and steady your aim. Don't shoot her, but that doe is in range to practice with vitals. Aim at her with your rifle and get her vitals to appear. Once they appear, try using your breath. Nice job. On the count of three, I'm going to drive those deer towards your position. Try for the buck with the big antlers. When he comes into range, make his vitals appear, and then use breath to steady your aim. Get ready to shoot. Get ready. Wow, that's one heck of a rack on that one. Nice buck. I have some more tags for you. You're ready to go ahead and get hunting. See you later. on the path and search for a big moss-covered boulder at the edge of the ridge. When you make it to the boulder, I'll have more info on your next hunt. 
Check your GPS if you get lost. sent to your GPS. It's another valley that Whitetail like to walk through. binoculars. I'm on the other end of the valley. There's a large herd between us. Find a good shooting position up in the rocks on the left or right side of the valley, and I'll drive them towards you. I'm driving the deer towards you now. They're moving quickly through the middle of the valley. Get ready!
couple of more spots. I've sent the waypoints to your GPS. Later. The first waypoint I sent to your GPS is a common drinking hole next to a waterfall. The second waypoint is on the edge of a dense stand of trees where I put down some scent lures after glassing a few high-scoring bucks. Get moving and find these spots. so well over the noise of the waterfall. Use that to your advantage and stalk in closer for a shot. Tell scent lures. Now go and find the three spots I placed the scent. Duck hunting. Come on over the lake.
Glad you made it. Ready for some duck hunting? Here are a couple of tips before you start shooting. See that flock of mallards flying over? You need to bring them into shotgun range. To do that, equip your duck call. Once you've equipped an animal call, you can check its instructions at any time to see how to make the correct sound. Give it a try. Very good. There's some ducks flying right at you. Remember, making the wrong sound with a call may attract a few ducks, but making the correct call will attract a bunch more. Remember to use your shotgun. It's the only type of firearm allowed in bird shooting. Now get him! Did it! Now what do you say about some fishing? So, you ready for some fishing? Great. To find where the fish are hiding, you need to use your fish finder. The fish finder scans the water for fish. When it finds some, they'll appear on the fish finder screen. When you find a hot spot for fish, drop a buoy on the water to mark the spot. Let's go find the hot spot. Spots. Too fast, the boat's motor might scare off any fish. Now let's get fishing. You need to pick out a lure. Nice choice. Now try to cast near the buoy you placed in the water. Hey, you got a bite! Try to hook him. Set the hook. Hey, you got a bite. We're reeling in a fish. Look at the line's tension on your reel handle. Reel in only when the tension is low. You'll see the color change to red if there's too much tension. You don't want to reel in too fast and lose the fish. that the fish you caught was added to your live well. You need to get back to the dock with your catch that's in the live well. All right, let's see your stuff. Head out and catch some fish. Set the hook. Great cast. Hook him. Set the hook. Head 
back to the dock with your catch. in time. spot where I saw two bucks. I'm nearby, found some very interesting tracks, but more on that later. just ran toward the clearing in front of me. You must have driven them towards my position. I'll bet you'd have a really nice shot if you climbed to the top of the rock I'm looking at. From here, I can see a fallen tree up near the edge that would make a good shooting position. I'll keep an eye on you through my binoculars. When you're in position, I'll drive the herd your way. some tags to fill. Try another shot.
signs around here. Remember those tracks I told you about earlier? I think they were left by a really big bug. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for a trophy whitetail. So let's go track them down. Monster. The tracks lead to this area, but I lost them near the river. We probably crossed it. Track down to the shoreline. Keep an eye open for tracks. There might be animal marks near you. Right near my position. I'll tag him for you. Can't wait to see the score on this puppy. 